So let me tell you guys a story. This is the question that I asked my calculus 2 students on their final exam. And I'm pretty sure that make them, um, this one right here make them un uncomfortable. Let me just use that. So let me present the question to you guys, right? This is question number 20 uh, on my final exam. First of all, we are going to consider our function, which is my new favorite. <laughs> Especially after I come up with this question myself, coach x, all right? Okay, part a, four points. Not bad, huh? Not bad. Uh, out of 200 points, by the way. We are going to find the slope of the line tangent to the curve at x equals 4, right? I wrote it down as the slope of the tangent line to the curve at x equal to 4, but it's just dy dx, of course. And this one is not bad at all because we know the function is this. So we know y is just going to be cosh of x, and of course y prime for our derivative is just going to be positive, not negative, okay? Positive sinh x. So they can just do that. Or if they would like, you could have, of course, write this down as e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2, and then differentiate that and you get e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. Up to them, of course. But anyway, at x equal to 4, I'm just going to be plugging 4 in here. So let me just put down at x equals 4. We know dy dx, which is the slope of the tangent line, is just going to be sinh of 4. And I told them that they can use a calculator on purpose. Because if they didn't show work, they would just do it on the calculator, which is totally okay. Calculators are allowed. So suppose they didn't see this. They would just see the answer being approximately 27.29. And then they would just box the answer. No, pretty good. Fair enough. Done. No problem on that. So let's move on to part B. And by the way, let me just, oh, I will give you guys a picture at the end of the video. Part B, another four points. Four points. All right? Uh, we are going to find the area. All right? Find the area under the curve from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. So, of course, finding area of under the curve is just integral. So, this right here, they will just say area is equal to the integral going from 0 to 4. And we are integrating cos of x. And again, they can just go ahead and use the calculator. And if they do that, they will see something really interesting because the answer right here is also approximately 27.29. And they can just box it. And right here, they will be like, oh, that's kind of cool because the area and the tangent line, the slope, they have the same value. That's pretty cool. I think this is super cool. Oh, of course, I'll show you guys why uh, later, but like I just want them to do this. As I told you, it's just to make them remember my class a little bit more. Anyway, part C, I promise on these three parts. Part C, five points. Okay, so for this one right here, we're going to find the art lengths. And we are going to go from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 4. Yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing already, huh? Yeah. So for this one, of course, you have to know the R length formula. And I will just write it down right here. The R length is going to be the integral because we are given y as a function of x. So it's the integral, and we will be in the x world. From 0 to 4, you open the square root, and then you have 1 plus the derivative of the function, which we found out over there is sinh x and then we square that okay that's what we have and of course we are in the x world and right here again they can just use a calculator so i expect them just to punch this on the calculator and they get actually let me write it down right here they get 27.29 <laughs> Um, I, I, I don't know how they feel um, after they saw this. 
Um, and by the way, yeah, they are all 27.29 approximately speaking. Yeah, um, I checked one of my students' final and he told me that uh, the last question was funny. So he saw it, he appreciated it, I like that. So Matthew, I'm talking to you, great job in the class. <laughs> and I haven't finished grading the final exam yet, so I don't know uh, how other people think. But I, I just really want to show you, this is super, super cool, okay? Because when you have coach of x, the coach function looks like this. It, it's almost like a parabola, but it's not. So if you grab this, it's like a ups, open up u, okay? But yeah, it's not, it's not a uh, parabola. Okay, dy dx at x equal to four, let's say it's right here. So again, the slope of the tangent line, the slope is approximately 27.29. Really, really cool, right? The slope of the tangent line is 27.29. And if you want to talk about the area, of course it's that, but here's the picture. The area from zero to four, it will look like from here to here. And guess what? The area, as we saw earlier, area is approximately 27.29. And the reason that this and that are the same is because if you integrate cosh of x, you get sin of x. And then you just have to go from 0 to 4, plugging 4 and plugging 0, and sin of 0 is 0. So this right here is really just the same as sin of 4 which is exactly what we have over there. Lastly, the R lengths, I will put it down right here. Okay, again, the same picture. Of course, they all look different. <laughs> um, this one, it's the R lengths going from 0 to 4, meaning that we're looking at from here to here, right? This is 0 and this is 4, right? 0 to 4, and then this right here is 4. This R length is this. L is approximately that, 27.29. And now, this is so mind-blowing. Like, how is this term out to be that? Let me show you. The reason is because when you have 1 plus sin square, this is actually the same as cosh, oops, not cosine, with an H, cosh square. 1 plus sin square, it's exactly the same as cosh square of x and then of course we have the square root and then we integrate from 0 to 4 and you know it this and that cancel so it's the same exact integral and you end up with sin of 4 and of course you end up with this in fact I, 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 this is not the first time I did this to my students but previously I only ask them the area and also the R lengths. But for, for, for this semester, I also include the slope of the tangent line. So, yep, that's it. So let me know what you guys think, all right? And uh, for all the calculus two students that were in my class, uh, hopefully you appreciate how cool Coach X is. Yeah, happy holidays. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And yeah, bye.